This is the world's first battery, and it was invented by Alessandro Luigi Volta in 1800. This is a model of the original battery, and it consists of discs of copper and zinc alternately spaced, separated by paper which has been dipped in acid. And we've assembled some of these alternate plates here, and if I put this top plate on of zinc, it should produce an electric current because of the reaction between the metals and the acid. And that we've wired up to this little electric hamster and that hamster should go <laughs> if all goes to plan. <laughs> it stuttered along. And that was the problem with these early batteries. The power only lasted for as long as the reaction was sustained. Across Europe, scientists were experimenting with Volta's battery. And in 1821, Hans Christian Orsted uncovered some very unusual behaviour. While preparing for a lecture, Orsted noticed that when he connected a copper wire to a battery and held it near a compass, the needle moves. That may not seem much now, but that's the beginning of electromagnetism, the first demonstration that electricity and magnetism can create motion. Faraday used these two critical discoveries to tap into the universe's very own power system. Here, in his workshop at the Royal Institution, Faraday showed that electricity, magnetism and motion are all firmly linked. Just a year after Orsted's discovery, Faraday designed this. There's a wire that goes into a pool of mercury to which a magnet's attached. And when you pass a current through that wire, watch what happens. Believe it or not, this is the world's first electric motor. Ten years passed, and with proof that magnetism and electricity could drive motion, Faraday made an incredible intellectual leap. If electricity and magnetism can create motion, Faraday thought, could the reverse be true? Could motion and magnetism create electricity? Well, he answered that emphatically with this rudimentary device. This pole in the middle is a magnet, and there's a tube here in which he's wrapped round copper wire and covered it with cloth and attached two small lights. Now, watch what happens when I move the coil through the magnetic field. <laughs> I know it looks ridiculous, but what's happening is quite amazing. The light is lighting up. And that means that electricity is being generated in the coil by just moving through the magnetic field. What Faraday had created here is the world's first electricity generator. Faraday went on to discover some of the most important laws about the universe, which show the relationship between electricity, motion, and magnetism. Basically, he worked out that if you have a big coil and you rotate it very fast, you get a lot of electricity. But this machine, Michael, is going to show us that actually that isn't so straightforward. Here is his dynamo. So this is a coil with a... So you're going to generate some electricity from it. And we've rigged it up to some bulbs. And, yep. and you're lighting up one. Can you... Can you uh, can you light up two? I think I can. Oh, ho, ho, OK. Yeah. And do you feel strong enough to light up three? It's actually getting surprisingly <laughs> so you, hard. So, in fact, it? you can feel that I this is asking awesome. yeah, That's yeah. what's so extraordinary, isn't it? Yeah. And four? Right. So there's actually communication going back and forth. That's good. <laughs> Keep that up. Nice one. I'm just going to read my book <laughs> at night while I'm trying to learn something. This and, uh, is this surprisingly is, uh, hard work, I'd say. Can you just keep going for a bit? Because <laughs> I've just got a few more pages to get through. I can't help feeling... <laughs> Go, go, I would go. probably be doing better if I was I'm cycling. It's very hard to concentrate with you shouting like that, <laughs> I have to say. No, I could keep really, this up for hours. It's really difficult, though, isn't it? it well, is. you are displaying a third of a horsefly. Of course, not using your legs, but your arms. Yeah. 